hello everyone today we are going to work on how to add the atmosphere with the clouds into a planet so a life-size planet so here this is what we have we are going to get at the end of the episode so you can use any kind of a planet you want or you can even use a sphere and here you can see the preview of the atmosphere so we can go into the world scale like this and from the world level this is how we see the planet so i have also already worked on a planet gravity system as well in yesterday's episode so these episodes are not connected you can follow, still follow this even if you haven't followed that so i have a character placed here here this is the character so if I play now you see character is already in the angled surface but still if I play the character will work properly on the surface because uh, the character already has planet gravity enabled so yeah this is how the character will see the atmosphere you can see the Sun as well in the distance and here if I stop and zoom out this is the world from space so this is what we are going to work on today you will learn how to apply the settings required to match the planet uh, curvature to the clouds and the sky atmosphere components the existing components you don't really need anything else to achieve this into whatever the size of planet you want and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel to the date there are over 1700 videos so for each video you can access the project files once you become a member in a patreon page link would be in the description below feel free to check it out and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so this is uh, a simple world that i have created using the voxel plugin this is the same app that we worked on yesterday about on the planet gravity system so now this atmosphere is the default atmosphere we get in unreal when we start a new level so now what i want to do is convert in this atmosphere to a planetary atmosphere so as you can see here this is just more like a flat world so here first i'll remove all these directional light exponential height fog sky atmosphere uh, sky sphere and the skylight from the level and keep only the volumetric cloud then go to the plugins and enable this sun position calculator i have already enabled that so you don't need to uh, if you haven't enabled it when you enable this you will have to restart it restart the engine now after enabling that press sun here now you get sun sky drag and drop it into the level so now you start to see the world but still it's flat so now uh, our planet is in the zero 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 location so i'll will move the sun sky actor also into the same location so then if you go to select the sun sky and select the sky atmosphere component here you see ground radius so it's in this is in kilometers radius in kilometers from the center of planet to the ground level so now we need to find out the ground radius of our planet in kilometers for that let me go to one of the orthographic levels orthographic modes and then so here if you uh, press the middle mouse button and drag a line you can see the scale you can measure the distance uh, this is actually around one kilometer this is not big enough for a planet so i'll set the voxel size this is also size in voxel in centimeters i'll make it a meter so now we have a big enough 
uh, word by the way you don't really need to have this work cell word if you want to test this you can just use a large enough sphere as well so now this is this is a scale of 10 kilometers so yeah you can see the scale here so yeah this planet is 10 kilometers in the radius now where is the world okay here now you see world is in the clouds but it's still cloud is not matching this world okay so select the sun and sky and select the sky atmosphere ground radius now as i said it is 10 so make it 10 now you see the clouds and clouds are curved and also you can see a curved atmosphere but it's not matching with the planet's surface that's because the transform mode is planet top at the absolute world origin so if i select these two planet center at component transform now you can see the atmosphere properly matches the planet see so and also you can see a bit of a darker area that's actually the uh, line below the horizon so since this is not a perfect sphere because there are mountains as well in the uh, surface maybe let's make it a little bit smaller so we don't see that okay now it looks fine now the clouds so uh, the cloud shape is correct but we can further adjust the clouds like this here if you select the volumetric clouds you can see layer bottom altitude this also should be in kilometers yeah so the total planet radius is 10 kilometers or maybe i'll make it 11 uh no i think this starts from the planet surface itself so i'll make it one that looks fine and the layer height what if i let's make it something like four okay nice now and uh, now you still see uh, this does not look like space it still looks like atmosphere so for that again select the sun sky and sky atmosphere and here you see another parameter atmosphere height uh, is this from the atmosphere layer the height of the atmosphere layer above the ground in kilometers so we have only uh, for up to four kilometers i added cloud so maybe i'll make it five okay now this this is okay all right now if i go to the planet uh, level let me play from here so now here you see this is in the planet level if i play it's too bright wait did i yeah now we are in the planet's level and if i so i already have this planet gravity system working so that's why my character was working upright in the planet even though it's angled surface now here from the planet this is how we see okay so now if you want to adjust from the planet's surface level let me go to the top so it's easier for us to guess so here right let's see so if you want to do changes like a starting distance bottom altitude you can increase it but then here you start to see this line so maybe you can either reduce it but then again the cloud edges so yeah you will have to find the balance and also now let me reset the cloud starting point and fire okay now overall now i'm happy with the way this looks and if i want to increase the world size here if i make the voxel size to 10,000, now this would be a world that is 100 kilometers which is closer to the earth's real size no 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 <laughs> i was wrong 
36,000 something. So, right here, again, go back and set the ground radius, maybe, no, 100, yeah. And then you can set the atmosphere height. So in 100, when the world size is 100, atmosphere height, you need a bigger scale. So something like this, 20 kilometers, 30, 50. Yeah, this looks much more realistic. And now we can increase the volumetric. Down in distance, let's try one, maybe three, and end. No, let's say five. End is 30. So now you see. So you can change the parameters of the cloud system and get the look you want. All right, so this is how it looks in the planet level. If I play, it starts to bright, but it adjusts. So here, this is how we see from the planet's level. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Hope you learned something valuable. Let me move away. This is the world. Right, here is the world we created. So, okay. So I'm going to continue with this system and integrate the planet gravity and the spaceship and all other world generation things that I implemented, worked on previously into one project. So we will have a complete world generation experience. Okay. Thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for you to download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.